The Galaxy S24 delivers some of the strongest value of Samsung's latest flagships, offering the same Galaxy AI features as its pricier counterparts. But the real benefit to upgrade is to reap the performance and battery life improvements delivered by the Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 Silicon, assuming that you are able to buy a phone with that chip where you live. My Samsung Galaxy S24 review will look at the Galaxy AI features, of course, and whether they make the most affordable model in Samsung's flagship lineup worth a purchase or upgrade. But I'll also look at the other changes made to the Galaxy S24 that produce one of the most well-rounded Samsung phones in years. The Galaxy S24 is available for $799 US dollar with the base model featuring 128GB of storage. In the US, that's the same price Samsung charged last year for the Galaxy S23, something worth calling out in light of Samsung's $100 price hike for the Galaxy S24 Ultra. There is also a 256GB version of the Galaxy S24 available in the US and UK for US$859 or £859. You will be able to find the Galaxy S24 at Samsung's website as well as the major retailers like Amazon and Best Buy. US phone carriers are now selling the Galaxy S24 too, with many offering Galaxy S24 deals that can help you lower the cost of the phone. You won't spot too many differences between the Galaxy S24 and Galaxy S23, it nudges a side in the lineup of best Samsung phones. The screen and back panel on the S24 are both flat and are joined by metal side rails, but the phone has adopted a unibody-like design that blends all the separate panels together brilliantly. Samsung continues to make the S24 out of aluminium, titanium is reserved for the Galaxy S24 Ultra, as is the more durable Gorilla Armor Glass for the Ultra's display. Still, Galaxy S24 counts on Gorilla Glass Victus 2 to be tough enough, and it offers IP68 water resistance, so don't worry about dropping the phone in the drink. The biggest design change to the Galaxy S24 involves the bezels. They are smaller than before which allows the fo new phone to offer a slightly bigger screen than the S23 without noticeably changing the dimensions of the phone. Even with 6.2 inch display, the Galaxy S24 remains as compact as its predecessor. I wish I could get excited about the Galaxy S24 color options which strike me as a bit muted. Names like Onyx Black, Marble Grey, Cobalt Violet, and Amber Yellow make the colors sound a lot more dramatic than they actually look. I would suggest heading to Samsung's online store where exclusive options in blue, orange, and green at least add some variety to your choice. I have mentioned the Galaxy S24's larger display which offers a resolution of 2340 by 1080 resolution and a 120Hz refresh rate. But besides the modest increase in size from the 6.1 inch panel on the S23, the biggest addition is a boost to the screen's brightness. Like the rest of the new lineup, the Galaxy S24 promises a maximum brightness of 2600 nits. I have to say our lab testing didn't come close to the theoretical maximum which was probably achieved under very controlled circumstances. Still, the 1416 nits it reaches using a light meter and with HDR enabled is nothing to sneeze it. It improves upon the Galaxy S23's 1340 nit reading and was in line with the iPhone 15's 1400 nit result. I found I had to keep the display brightness slider rather high to see the screen details under less favorable lighting conditions, but at least the S24 has the capability in its toolkit. A trailer for the Ministry of Our Gentlemanly Warfare on YouTube looked pretty dark in some scenes, though I suspect that's a Guy Ritchie problem and not a Samsung one. Streaming under pressure on Netflix produced bright crisp images of the US women's soccer team in action. The Galaxy S24 recreates more colors than the iPhone 15's display does using both the sRGB and DCI-P3 spectrums. Apple's screen is a bit more accurate too, with a Delta E rating of 0.18 to the S24's 0.22 with the display in its default vivid mode. 
Any discussion of the Galaxy S24 is going to revolve around the Galaxy AI features that Samsung has added to the phone in an attempt to make artificial intelligence a centerpiece on its mobile devices going forward. To that end, Galaxy S24 owners have reason to cheer. The same features available on the Galaxy S24 Ultra are also present on this device, which is now US dollars cheaper than the Ultra. In other words, you don't have to pay up to access Galaxy AI. My colleague covers the what, how, and why of the Galaxy AI capabilities quite extensively in his Galaxy S24 Ultra review, so I'll not repeat his work here. I do want to share my key impressions of each of the features too, starting with the most intriguing live translate, which promises real time translations for 13 different languages when you are on a phone call with someone speaking in a different tongue. It's impressive on paper, but a bit awkward in practice as I found when I placed a phone call to my wife who can speak German. Live translates translations weren't always accurate and I'm not sure how much of that can be chalked up to her accent. She's not a native German speaker and how much is because live translate seems to falter with casual conversation stones. It is pretty clear that the delay between when someone speaks and when the translated speech appears on your phone screen and in your ear is something that takes getting used to. I am far more impressed with what Galaxy AI brings to the Notes app on the Galaxy S24. The AI features in Notes can auto-format the notes you quickly jot down into something that's not only easier to read but also pleasing to the eye. I was especially delighted to see that you get multiple options for notes formatting so you can pick the one that looks the best to your eyes. I took some quick notes on all the things that I had to do for the coming week, it's quite an extensive list, and note turned it into a bulleted list. The app's auto summary feature produces a very accurate summary that boiled down what I had to do on each given day. It's a toss-up on whether Notes or Circle to Search is the most polished Galaxy AI features. Circle to Search does exactly what its name implies. If you see something in any app that catches your fancy, just long press the home button at the bottom of your screen. A message will pop up telling you to circle or tap on what you want to search and the results will appear in an overlay at the bottom of your screen so you don't have to leave the app you are currently in. Circle to search works in any app. I have used it just as easily in gallery as I have in Chrome and while it works best with photos, I have found that circling text produces results too. I used the latter method to circle mean girls on a movie theater marquee to look up information about the movie, for example, circle to search is currently geared a little too much to e-commerce for my taste. The first search results you get are usually invitations to buy what you have circled, but this is still a pretty powerful use of AI. Two other Galaxy AI features, Chat Assist and Samsung's Voice Recorder app, feel like works in progress. The Chat Assist feature also supports on-the-fly translation for those times when you need to text in another language. A more shrug-worthy feature has the AI suggesting ways to rephrase the tone of your text for your different audiences. Texts for your friends as opposed to a text you sent to your boss. Maybe I don't text enough or my replies tend toward the monosyllabic, but I have never really struggled to find the right wording for a text message. That part of chat assist feels like a solution in need of a problem. The voice recorder capabilities use AI to recognize when different people are speaking, transcribe the recordings into text and even provide a summary of that recording. Transcripts and speaker recognition can be hit or miss. My wife and I recorded a dramatic reading of the courtroom scene in A Few Good Men and the AI often ran our different lines together. Transcripts have more than a few errors, with the most common mistakes being new sentences starting anytime a speaker pauses. 
In terms of camera hardware, Samsung hasn't really touched a thing for this Galaxy S24 update. The 50 megapixel main camera, 12 megapixel ultra wide shooter, and 10 megapixel telephoto lens with 3x optical zoom are exactly what you would find on the Galaxy S23. Even aperture and sensor sizes remain the same. In one sense, that shouldn't matter as the Galaxy S23 was already one of the best camera phones, so you'd imagine that the Galaxy S24 should be just fine on the camera front. And that's before we get to some of the AI enhanced features Samsung has added to the S24 lineup. The trouble is Samsung's competitors have not stood still since last year. Now you can guys see some photo sample of Galaxy S24 and some comparison between S23 and S24 and iPhone 15. If the Galaxy S24 phone had performed just a shade or two better against the iPhone 15, I would have declared this model as the entry-level flagship phone to get. As it stands, this is still one of the best base model Galaxy S phones I have ever used, delivering a lot of value for $800. US While the AI features are welcome additions, they are only part of what makes the Galaxy S24 so impressive. It's the bigger, brighter skin, longer-lasting battery, and stellar performance that make the phone device well worth getting with Galaxy AI a nice add-on. Because the cameras haven't changed that much, I don't think anyone with last year's Galaxy flagship needs to concern themselves with upgrading. And perhaps even Galaxy S22 users can get one more year out of their device 
anyone with an older Galaxy flagship should run not work to their nearest retailer to, to grab this new model. Perhaps the most impressive thing about the Galaxy S24 is the serious lack of FOMO you'll have if you opt for this phone over one of the more expensive models. Yes, the Galaxy S24 Ultra has the more impressive camera setup, but with the same Galaxy AI features and battery and performance improvements of its own, the Galaxy S24 is a worthwhile flagship in its own right. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.